What's up guys? So today I'm going to teach you how to add a chatbot to your Facebook live stream. So what is a chatbot? So basically a chatbot is a bot which replies to messages. So in my case, I have my chatbot set up in a way so that it will reply to frequently asked questions like what mouse do you use? What keyboard do you use? What monitor do you use? So my chatbot, if for example you type exclamation monitor, my chatbot will reply what monitor I use. But you can set this up in any other way you want. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first step in adding a chatbot to your stream is go to noxbot.gg. So once you're at noxbot.gg, noxbot will prompt you to log in with your Facebook. So let's do that. Here it will ask you to log in with your Facebook credentials. And once you've logged into your Facebook, Facebook will prompt you to authorize noxbot to use with Facebook. So since I've already done that, let's just continue. Now we're at the Noxbot dashboard. So in order to add a chatbot to your stream, first thing you wanna do is go to keywords and let's add some commands. Go to keywords right here. And as you can see, I've already added several commands for my stream. But for this video, let's add a new keyword. So let's click the add new keyword button. And this will prompt a new keyword dialog. So let's say exclamation test command. And as you can see, we also have all these different options here, but let's keep it at starts with. If your command starts with this, it will prompt the keyword. Let's leave it at auto reply. And here at cooldown, you can set the cooldown for the command. This means that viewers won't be able to spam the command or the chatbot won't reply to this command within a certain period of time. So let's say I'm adding a cooldown of 60 seconds. The chatbot will only reply to that keyword once in a minute. So if users are trying to spam that command, it will only reply once. But for now, let's just set this at zero and let's add our test message. Let's say this is a test command. Here you can also add a message variant. Even if you type in the same keyword, it will have different messages or it will cycle through those messages you have. Let's try to add a message variant for this. So let's leave this at enabled and save. And now if you scroll down, you can see we have our test command here. So let's try out a new test command. So in order for our chatbot to connect to our Facebook stream, we first need to run a Facebook stream. So let's go to Facebook and run a test stream. Log into Facebook and go to your creator studio. Now here we have the option to run a test broadcast. Let's click this. The advantage of running a test broadcast is that only you and your fellow admins will be able to see this. So if you like to try new layouts, chatbots, or whatever it is in your stream, this is the perfect avenue for that. So let's run a test stream and copy the stream key to our Streamlabs or whatever streaming software you use. Gonna put this in here and click go live. And once you see your video feed here, go back to Facebook, add a title and start test broadcast and go live. Now that you're live, you can add your chatbot to the stream. So let's go back to Noxbot. So in order to connect our chatbot to the stream is make sure you've selected the correct page right here. So for me, it's Neps. And all you have to do is to click this button here. And voila, connected to live stream chat. So now your chatbot is connected to your Facebook live stream. And that's it. You now have a chatbot. So let's try out a chatbot. So let's go back to Streamlabs or to your stream and type exclamation test command. And here you can see my comment. And here's the chatbot replying to my comment. Let's type test command again. You can see here my comment again. And here you can see that it cycled through the other message. So since we set two messages in our message variant, it cycled through these two comments. And congratulations, you have now a chatbot. So in order for my viewers to know that I have a chatbot or what different commands I have, I like to list them in sort of a menu. So what I did is I added a keyword, which for me is exclamation commands right here. And here I've listed all the different chat commands I have. So let's say exclamation keyboard, it will reply with what keyboard I'm using or exclamation mouse, it will reply what mouse I'm using. And another thing I'd like to do is create a sort of a sub menu, which I did with my exclamation loadouts. So if we go to my exclamation loadouts, you can see that I have here another set of commands so that in my exclamation commands, I won't have to put all the commands since I have so many. So I've created sort of a sub menu for that. And another thing you can do with Noxbot is add timed actions. So let's go to timed actions. So here in timed actions, you can make your chatbot comment on your stream at a certain interval of time. So let's try to add a new timed action. Let's say follow reminder. 
and add a message please don't forget to like the stream and let's say i want this to run every five minutes and i can also add how many comments there need to be before the chatbot will comment this again so for example my chat box is empty it won't trigger this timed action but if i already have 10 comments after the last time this triggered it will trigger this message again so since i already have a follow reminder i'm not gonna save this and that's it guys you now have a chatbot on your facebook live stream guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and follow and please share some love to nox the creator of noxbot he's a filipino as well so i link his youtube and facebook in the description as well and please don't forget to like and follow him and share some love so that we can keep on using noxbot in the future and again thank you for watching as always peace